Oh my goal, you guys. Oh my goal. Trek Marlin 7, custom e-bike build. Let's get into what all went into this. I'm Johnny Nerdout. I build bikes, convert bikes into e-bikes. I talk a lot about e-bikes. I do blogs on e-bikes. I do things on charging e-bikes by solar panel, being more sustainable, things like that. Those are things that I like to talk about. If you like those things, check out my other videos. Maybe think about subscribing. It doesn't cost a whole lot, but it gives a lot. It feeds people in third world countries, which you're not supposed to call them third world countries anymore. That was just a test and you failed. So try to be better. Let's get right into this. This is the Trek Marlin 7. I really like this bike. I just took it for a ride, just did the Johnny Nerd Out test. Really like this bike. This is really smooth. This one I think is brand new. I think they brought it to me brand new. Maybe that's why it feels so smooth. But they did a really good job on this bike. Doing the hills, climbing, uh, top speed, just everything, just riding it, it just felt super comfortable. A lot of that has to do with the Tektro hydraulic brakes. So it's really confident braking. This thing just really stops really well. It's got a nine speed cassette on there. Shifts really good. They're helicoptering right now while we're filming. Are you serious? Unbelievable. I'm gonna write a letter to the mayor. Yeah, it's got a, it's a hard tail, but it's got a front suspension, rock shocks. I think this is the difference between the Marlin 7 and the 5 and the different trim levels. This one is the higher end one. So I think that's why it feels really comfortable. That rock shocks is a nice suspension. You can really tell the difference between those, like the really low end, like sun tours, where they just boom and they bottom out all the time. This one will not do that. And you could tell the difference, even like when it's not bottoming out, you could tell the difference because it's just really smooth. We added a front and rear uh, headlight system. This one's rechargeable, runs off a of USB. These are the 1000 Lumen. These are by Raveman. These are really bright. These are like motorcycle headlights. It's nice because you can go from 1000 Lumen, 600 Lumen to like 300 Lumen. And you know, if you want it to last for like 30 hours, put it on the lowest setting. But if you want it to be really bright, you, you have it. And this thing is really freaking bright. And same thing with the rear, you could strobe, flash, Lights, super important. So you can see it's starting to get dark out here. If I was riding like this, I'd want to make sure I have lights. We also added uh, the Miracle to have a mirror on it. The mirror, it's like 16 bucks or something for a mirror. Put one on it. It could be a lifesaver. We got the BBS HD motor. It's a thousand watt motor. Puts out about 1700 watts peak with a 52 volt, 16.75 amp hour battery here. We put a 36 tooth Lecky bling ring on it. So this thing's gonna be really good at climbing hills. Um, you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of the top speed when you go with a small chain ring like that. But you know, you're, you're pedaling, you're gonna be topping out around 26 miles an hour, I'd say, somewhere around there. If you went with a 42, you'd be able to do about 29 of pedaling. This is what that means. I'm not like bad, like boxing, one of those little I'm not doing that. I'm pedaling. So yeah, really good with hill climbing, and you'll see in the Johnny Nerdout test what a 36 tooth makes a big difference for hill climbing. And I think this is a 36 tooth in the rear for the low gear, so it's like a one to one ratio, which is perfect for hill climbing. Because you still get that 11 tooth gear for a high gear, so you're still gonna get the top speed, but if you can switch out just even the low cog, to get a bigger one just to give you that extra that granny gear is what they call but your hill climbing is just insane or even your 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 towing capacity is greatly changed we put a gear shift sensor on it right here that just you know acts like an automatic clutch cuts power while you're shifting gear so it just you know saves your chain your front sprocket your rear cassette you're not gonna be mangling gears and all that stuff Put a gear shift sensor on it, save you the headache. For the display, we went with a 500C color display. I really like this display. If you don't need a USB out to like charge your phone or anything like that, this is the display to go with, I think. It's really nice, it's really small, compact, discreet, discreet, discreet. And next to that, we've got a throttle. So yeah, let's go check out the Johnny Nerd Out performance test where I test uh, hill climbing with a rolling start and from a stop. So, you know, without momentum, with momentum, and then I also do a top speed test, all under motor power only. So that just shows you what the motor can do. And now obviously if you're pedaling with it, you're gonna get better performance. You're gonna climb better. And this is like a 30% grade that I do. It's a drainage ditch. Might even be 30, 40%. I have no idea. I gotta check it out. I need to get like a parks and rec guy to come out there.
Yeah, so you can see this thing climbs like a billy goat. It, no hill is gonna come between you and this bike. No, the, no bike is gonna come between you and a hill. It has to be your bull. So this bike hit 37 miles an hour, even with a 36 tooth on there, which is crazy. This bike, is, it's a really nice, comfortable bike. This is great for commuting, taking on the trails, going to, you know, take it camping. You could turn this bike into whatever you want. That's why I love hardtails. You dream it, you build it. You could turn it into a commuter, you could turn it into a single track rider if you want. All right, I think that's just about it, guys. Hasta mañana.